Okay guys, today we're going to be doing yet another review on yet another multi-tool. Now, in the past I said that the Leatherman Surge is the bushcrafter's tool. And when I said that, I still mean that. I still think that the Leatherman Surge, either the 1.0 or the 2.0, are probably the best bushcrafting multi-tools. But today we're going to be talking about the best survival multi-tool. Now, I still think that the Surge is a great option, even for survival. However, when I think about a survival multi-tool, I think of a tool that it has a little bit less focus on doing more of the bush crafty kind of tasks that secure long-term wilderness living. And it focuses more on useful pieces of equipment that can help you manipulate your world in the short term for survival. And that's where I think that the Leatherman Super Tool 300 is the king. Now, if you notice a trend, the Super Tool 300 and the Surge are about the same size. I compared them uh, side by side, unfortunately, not here in this video, but they are basically the same exact size. And the Super Tool 300 kind of 2.0 has the same exact plier setup that the Surge. 2.0 has as well. The only difference really between the tools is that there are no openable tools on the outside of the Super Tool 300. So when it's closed, it looks a little something like this. And of course, there are pros and cons to having outside or one hand opening tools. But at the same time, it does mean that it has slick sides and that it is very uh, easy to throw in a pack and it's not going to catch on anything and once again you can't open any tools from the outside but it's also not too hard to open this tool up and get to the tools if you need them so going over the tool set of course like i said nothing opens from the outside but you still have a fully serrated blade on this side you still have a full-sized fairly large in fact larger size saw than on the surge however this is not replaceable of course or not easily replaceable then you have your usual set of tools. You have your can opener, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a smaller flat head that could be used as a smaller pry bar. In addition to that, you also have a decent sized uh, clip point blade. Of course, unfortunately, this one is made out of 420HC, just like the Surge, but it is very long and still very capable of cutting. Then lastly, you have, I should say, you have your double-sided saw that has uh, a cross-cut pattern on this side and a normal non-cross-cut on this side. So then you have your awl. You also have a little lanyard loop down here that's kind of hard to show off. Then you have your different sized flatheads or potentially pry bars if you need them in a pinch. And then lastly, it also has, of course, your pliers, your hardened wire cutters, and your wire cutters that are replaceable. And then, of course, you have your wire crimpers right about here, just underneath the head of the pliers. So, essentially, the tool set on this is a lot like a surge. The only difference is, like I said, it's not outside opening, and I think it's a little bit more of a simplistic tool. In addition to that, it's also fairly or rather substantially cheaper. You can get Super Tool 300s for right around $40, whereas the Surge will easily run you $80 to even over $100, uh, depending where you get it. So the Surge is by far a more expensive tool than this. And once again, it doesn't offer a whole lot more advantages if you're just looking for sheer tool set. Now, once again, we know, and I know, uh, people who have modded surges to make them very capable for bushcrafting and you can certainly take tools uh, on the surge like the replaceable saw blade and add other tools to that replaceable bit exchange kind of thing but the going back to the 300 it's a very simple tool and it really has the key cornerstones for survival if you are going to be out of course you have your pliers you know for manipulating and moving making things if you need to so you know if you are in a crashed aircraft or whatever you can you know cut sheet metal off of your aircraft bend it make it manipulate it into what you need you know with your pliers and your uh, wire cutters 
so there is an advantage to that but you also have you know a really solid clip point blade that is going to do a great job as you could see at doing very you know basic and necessary cutting tasks and you also have your serrated blade for cutting through different things if you need it it also works well as a backup blade and then lastly of course you know you have a really nice full length saw which another great thing about this saw like most Leatherman saws is it's ground the spine of it is ground very sharp so it works very well for throwing ferro rod sparks and of course it comes in a typically good styled Leatherman sheath I mean these uh, velcro sheaths aren't my favorite but you do have room over here if you want to throw a ferro rod or if you want to throw extra pieces of kit to make this you know more survival -y. if you just want to throw a really solid multi-tool in your backpack to have for survival that will cover you know quite a few bases this is definitely one to look at I don't know if I would consider this you know or really any multi-tool the end all to be all you know for survival or for bushcrafting but I've seen a good number of people do a good many things with multi-tools and ultimately you know if you need a sharp blade or a couple sharp blades and a saw this is a really solid option to look at and once again being that super tool 300s uh, you know in the stainless color variation come in consistently at under 50 bucks this is a really solid option to look at if you are just wanting you know a nice tool that you can throw in a backpack or throw in a you know in a glove box or something like that to have a really nice really capable tool for survival so anyways guys that is basically all i have to say about the leatherman super super tool 300 it like i said has a lot of the same capabilities that the leatherman surge has and i'm sure many of you have heard my praises of the leatherman surge so i have much to say of the same with the super tool 300 i personally am not a huge fan that doesn't have any you know outside accessible tools that is something that i hold very valuable to me but at the same time for less than half the cost you can get something that still has all the same functionality might just take a little bit longer so it might just take a little bit longer to get it all there or to get it out and open so anyways that is the super through super tool 300 by leatherman and that is why i think that this is a great survival multi-tool if you guys are thinking of having something in your kit that is a multi-tool for survival specifically it's big it's heavy but it works very well it has all the tools you really need so anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video and as always god bless and i'm out